this video I'm going to try and vlog somewhat of my day. This, uh, it started out moving a lot of trailers. This trailer right here, I've been having it about a week. Um, when you're booking your own loads, you have a lot of you have a lot of options when you're booking your own load. Because on this load right here, this container, I've been having it about a week. So I charge a customer a week storage. Because it was supposed to go in the port last Monday. And when I take it there, they told me it's too early for it to come in. So I had to wait till Friday. Well, Friday, I got caught up on my load I was on for Friday, so I couldn't take it in the port, and they didn't open on Saturday, so that's why I'm just now taking it in. So, when you run into situations like these where you get held up on a container and it's not your fault, you gotta charge your customer for storage. However long you keep it, what you charge for storage gonna be on you. So the best thing to do is call around, find out what other people are charging for storage, and then you base your price on that. I have another container that I ran Saturday. I pulled that one out the port Friday, did the load Saturday. When I came back, I couldn't take that empty container into the port, so I still have that container. If I get back early today, I'll bring that one in. If not, I'll bring it in tomorrow. Now, that's an empty. I can't charge for storage on that one. Because that's not the customer fault. Um, that's a load I was supposed to run tomorrow. But the receiver told me they'll take it over the weekend. So that's why I decided to do that. So that's all on me on that one. I do that because by me taking it over the weekend, I could book something else for Tuesday, which I have a load set up for Friday coming, and I could move that around to Tuesday, so that's what I'm going to do. So when you're booking your own loads, man, you have a lot of options. It's a lot. A lot of people on YouTube, they tend to be going back and forth with this owner app. Um, on our company driver, lease operator thing. It's a lot more to this trucking thing than doing those drama videos, man. It's a lot more you could be teaching people how to be more profitable with their truck. And you have a lot of owner operators out here that think that they're gonna be running 3,000 miles per week to be making money. That's you can't get further from the truth than that. So, right now, like you see, this container that I have for a week, the storage on this alone will pay for my yard space. So, it's profitable, man. Another thing, a lot of people asking if they should get into trucking now because the truck prices are so high. Any time is a good time to get into trucking or to be an owner operator. It don't matter if the truck price high, it don't matter if um, freight low, freight price low or freight slow. What everybody else doing might not be what you gonna end up doing. So I never tell anybody not to get in at a certain time. I'll tell you why you should get in or some of the things you could look for when you get in, but I'm not going to tell you don't get in. Okay? You might get in and pick up a customer that that particular time when you get in, that's when they move a lot of the freight. So everybody's situation is different. The trailer type. Same thing with trailer type. I don't tell anybody don't run a certain type of trailer. I'll give you the pros and cons of running a certain type of trailer, then it's all up to you if you want to run it. The money is in the trailer. 
You don't matter what type of trailer you're pulling, the money is in the trailer. So you could get out of here with any trailer and make money. You just got know your customers, know the area you're going to run in, and find the customers in that area that's paying. Or that have freight moving constantly. That's all it comes down to. There's no secret formula in trucking, man. The formula to trucking is easy. What it comes down to is you finding the customer. You getting out here and doing the legwork, finding the customer, finding the freight that pay what you want, and that's, that's all it is. Once you find the customer that pay what you want and the freight consistent where you're making the money you want to make, what you do after that is go get another truck and try and mirror what that first truck door. And once you get to that point where the second truck doing what the first truck was doing, you go get another truck and do the same thing. <laughs> 